everybody, welcome. This is Sam. Um, really great that you've joined me for what is now the fifth of the colouring tutorials we've done from Bennett Klein's Colour My Sketchbox. And um, today we're going to be doing this absolutely gorgeous image, Honey the Badger. As you can hear, technology waits for no one. Um, also, a big shout out from Sita behind the camera who's um, filming the videos for us. So, what will happen with the tutorial is that there will be um, a few different videos, and each of the videos will be supported with a post um, in the Facebook group, Sam's Coloring Tutorials. If you haven't joined, please do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through the very first step and we're going to be doing a mix of uh, marker, pen, marker, marker pens and outlining with some fine liners and then doing all our shading and, and coloring with pencils. So the first step that we're going to do is with the markers. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek to see where we're going with, uh, with our tutorial. Um, but the first thing first is we're going to do the marker base. So the great thing that's, um, that I really like about doing um, colouring with markers is it's nice and quick. gives you a really nice solid um, base colour but also a nice light colour that you can colour on top of. And if you get all the, the base um, colours done, it really gives you a good idea of the direction that we're going to go. So, doing our picture, here we start. Going to be using, I'm going to be using these um, Jotto Turbo markers. You can use any markers, alcohol markers work. These ones are water-based. What's great about them is they have um, a, a conical tip, so you can do quite broad colouring using the side of the marker or, you know, finish stuff using the tip. We're using um, markers from two different packs. These are the pastels, so it's the light yellow, light pink, the aqua and um, the tangerine, and the bright yellow and orange is from the, from the brights pack. So to get started, the first thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to do the brass for all the buckles. So with this, um, with the marker technique, the one thing that's really great about it and um, a kind of a technique that I've developed is that you don't have to be too perfect or exact with your, with laying down your base colour. You want to actually leave little bits of white if you get in there you can see that um, the yellow is not the greatest colour to demonstrate this but um, I'm going to go through all of them so I'll show you. Just very quick, um, you know, laying down of the colour. It's more more of a suggestion of colour, I would say, at this stage than um, getting the colour perfect. So I'm just going to go through and draw all these little bits. Um, I've done this picture, I don't know how many times, and each time I did, I end up adding in a little bit extra here or changing something there. Um, yeah, and then also I like this handle, um, I want to give it a bit of a brass effect. So you can see I'm being a bit um, not very precise or exact with this. Um, that is really the intention. So that's the yellow, that's the first colour we're going to do. Then um, using the tangerine, which is the pastel orange, we're going to do all the straps over here and the detail of the holster. Um, with markers, in terms of colouring with them, you're going to get the best results out of them if you can colour quite quickly. And you don't have to go back um, over the area you've just coloured, depending on what type of marker you're using. Sometimes it will lift the paper and also kind of leads through at the back, which can be a problem. These dotters are great, they don't do that. You'll see um, that I've been quite quite um, loose with the colouring, leaving bits of white on the edges. We want to do that, we're going to colour into that with um, with a highlight colour and we're going to create quite a nice effect. Just going in here, filling in all the colours. 
things. Don't worry really about getting it perfect. You don't want it perfect at all. You want little um, splodges or squidges or of white um, to be sticking out so that you've got somewhere to colour with the pencil creates a very interesting effect. Okay, this is all still part of the holster. I like to try and at least go in the direction of um, the shadow lines. Can you see all these little white spots? So I'm sure for some of you who are, uh, is it OCD? Freaking out, thinking, oh my God, how are we gonna deal with this? Trust me, the more white spots you leave, the more interesting your picture's gonna look. So that's that. These straps over here, we're gonna do in the orange, the dark orange. We want to create a little bit more contrast. Um, again, very, very, very loose with the coloring, leaving some nice, um, kind of little white spots. You can't really get this wrong. You know, it's the the thing that you want to just try and do is is just trust yourself and just be a bit loose. You know, so that you get those um you get those those white little splotches in between. Okay, so that's that. Then. The two next big sections, we're going to use the aqua. I think out of all of these colors, this is my absolute, absolute favorite. It's so versatile. You can use it with anything. Um, again, also just very, very loose here. You want to really, very important to leave some nice. You can actually see the way Bennett's done. Um, he's added the shadow lines in here. There's on the edges, there's this like white. We want to try and Keep that white open to be able to colour into. Here as well, just put in a kind of zigzag of colour. Um, sorry, just want to make these buttons. Not too precise, not too exact, leaning some white, and over here just like a zigzag almost. Just to put some colour in there, that'll do it. You can see I'm just kind of placing colour really more than not colouring solid, definitely not. Just putting in a bit of colour there. And, uh, but so white. I'm sure some of you are thinking, oh my hat, what are we doing here? Okay, so then also uh, the edge of the blade over here, just like that. And the blade, nice, long, kind of evenish uh, lines or dirt. There's a lovely streak of white, leave it. We're going to do something with it. And it's gone over there a bit, no problem. We're going to work it in with the next color. So, oh, and then this piece here at the top. Just a zigzag of that in there. This tiny bit on the shoulder. Yeah, looking good. Taking shape here. All right, our next color that we're going to do is um, the pastel pink. Uh, this one is called Cotton Candy, it's the lighter of the two pinks. Going to really be very, very, very loose with this and we want to keep this lovely white line on the edge here open for sure. Okay. As you can see, I'm just going quick, quick here. Getting the colour in there. But I've left lots of nice white uh, patches that you can see. Okay, great. Same over here. This little patch is darker. There we 
That's nice. Put a white shadow there on the edges there. That looks great. So we'll put that more colour into the darker areas there. <clears throat> nice, lots of white. I hope you guys don't think I'm nuts there. Yeah? Okay. Same goes here with the with the trousers, with the pants. No, don't worry about that if it goes over. Okay, so over here, same thing, as we come up to this line, we want to try and leave a little bit of white. So we're going to do it like that, nice and loose. And then this piece, if we can, if you can kind of do nice long streaks, that will then naturally create a bit of white as we're moving up there towards where the seam is, that'll be great. You're probably going to think it looks terrible, but that's really kind of the effect that, that we're going for. All right, almost done. Uh, this kind of fashion thing on the side here, we're going to work into um, just using the very light yellow. Then some color, some nice browns over that, that looks great. And we're going to start doing <clears throat> honey space. So using the light yellow um, marker, we're going to pretty much lay down most of the color is going to be this color. And then we're going to build it up with um, a few other tones as well, darker yellow. So this we can really do quite, um, quite rough. You really also want to have these bits of white um, coming through. You don't want it to be a mess. Um, so, you know, one must colour a little bit carefully, but it doesn't need to be precise, is what I'm saying. You know, and over here you want a bit of toning. There we go. Also, want some white in here, we're going to add some other tones of yellow and orange and stuff. There you go. And then into the hair, kind of it's a plait, so it follows um, kind of this way, that way um, pattern. So just go a little bit in like that with it. And the same on the side. I'm going to pick up the other colours as well. I'm going to use some of the, um, the pastel orange. Following just here and there the lines of the fur, kind of almost like highlights in a way, you know, where um, it's there and it's not there. We're gonna re we're gonna work into this, so this is just really part of of laying down, you know, kind of like the base layer. If you just follow patterns of the fur, you won't really get into trouble. Um, again, you just want to have a little zigzag of a pattern into, you know, of colour into the plait here. It doesn't have to be exact. Just pick the colour up a bit there. We're going to work into all of that. And then um, also with the darker, with the brighter yellow, which is quite nice. It also just gives you a chance to fill in the colour quite nicely. Wherever you see you've got, um, you know, patches that maybe you haven't coloured yet. And then also into the hair of it. So you've got the three different tones that make up the lovely honey, honey colour. And we're going to work into all of those with, with our pencils. Um, the other thing that um, I discovered the other day when I was trying this art is with the aqua colour, I just um, put a streak of it underneath and on top of Honey's eye. This is probably quite nice. So it kind of makes it like, look like she's got some funky green makeup on. 
So that is, um, that completes the very, very first step of the tutorial. That's what you need to get done. Again, if I can just say, try and not be too precise or exact. You also want to be able to just color quickly, you know, over the area that you're going. You don't want to have to go, go back because it also, it does make a streak. It doesn't matter how perfectly you do it. Um, it's going to look weird, maybe, all these white little bits that are sticking out here, but this is what's going to make our picture look really interesting and fantastic. The rest of it, the border, we'll do it at a different stage, but for now, this is what you can get done with, and uh, we'll catch up with the next one.